We are off on an exciting adventure this evening. We're headed to have some tequila, a tequila tasting with Jorge Cuervo. I believe that he is Jose Cuervo's great grandson. And uh, he's got a place here in San Jose del Cabo and he's gonna, he's gonna teach us a little bit about tequila, about the history of, of tequila, about the history of his family. And then we're gonna, we're gonna have some delicious food as well. So I'm like blinded by the sun, but just wanted you guys to, to get excited because I love tequila. It is my favorite beverage, not just in Mexico, but my favorite beverage. So let's go. The tasting and meal were at Cuervo's house, a restaurant along Calle Boulevard Antonio Mijares, one of the main streets between San Jose downtown and the beach in the hotel zone. We arrived to the tasting and they'd already set up the table for us with the different tasting glasses. We watched a short video about the history of tequila before Jorge came over to us to share his family's history with us. He'd be pretty old if he was Jose Cuervo's great-grandson. He's more like Jose's great-great-great-great-grandson but the family still feel a strong connection to their history. He told us that he grew up hearing his parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles talking about tequila, and it still very much runs through their veins. Uh, I'm Jorge Cuervo, I'm from a little town called Tequila, where the tequila comes from. That little town on the, mm. on the left, my, my right. Um, I've been here for 24 years already in Los Cabos. Um, and I opened this place 22 years ago. When I first started with the restaurant, I didn't do this. You know, I have the tequila thing in my veins for many, many generations, and that's all you can, all you hear on the on the living room of, of, of your house. You know, they're talking about tequila, and how they lost the factory, and all that stuff. Because we're the family, but we don't own the factory anymore. Is it? If I owned the factory, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> I would be in my Lamborghini and maybe in the UK. Jorge is a master tequilero, sort of like a sommelier for tequila. And he has so much knowledge about its history, the different styles, the different flavors, and top tips for figuring out if you're getting a real tequila or not. We have white tequila, reposado, and aged tequila, okay? So we're gonna try first the white tequila. And hold that smell, have a first little sip, that amount and three different sips, okay? Okay. Have a first sip, leave it on your jaw, let it burn. It will burn, it's still tequila, okay? <laughs> so let it burn, roll it in your tongue, and then swallow that, that tequila, okay? okay. We're gonna do that way. Now, let's do something. Have a good amount of water. Okay. okay. Now let's do it again. Breathe out, have, have a smell, and have a sip, okay? Ooh. 
Oh, yeah, that doesn't burn at all. Uh -huh. It's the smoother. Wow. Smoother now. Yeah. Yeah. And you get, you get more sort of yeah. like herbal. Yeah. It's yeah. huh? delicious. Yeah. One of the things I really loved about this tasting, besides of course tasting the tequila, was that there were little snacks to go along with it that had been specifically chosen because of the way they paired with each type of tequila that we had. Having a aged tequila, you will see him eating with them. Okay. Enjoy it and let me know okay. what you think. So the tequila first and then the... Tequila first and then okay. the porch. Oh, it smells like caramel. Oh my god. And, oh no, the cinnamon is there. Haha. After we finished the tasting, we moved over to another table to have dinner. We started with a seriously delicious and nice and spicy agua chile. Then we had a sampling of a few different dishes, including shrimp, fish, and octopus tacos, chile relleno, arrachera beef, and a flauta. Before moving on to my absolute favorite Mexican dessert, choco flan. It's a flan with a chocolate cake bottom, and this one had some added chocolate sauce underneath. We finished the meal with a few aperitifs. First, a popular drink from the town of Tequila called a cantarito, made with tequila, lime juice, grapefruit juice, orange juice, and grapefruit soda. Kind of like grappa which is like the remain made from the remains of the wine making process. This liqueur is made from the remains of the tequila making process. Um, and it's mixed with quince, which I'd never heard of in the US before, but it's a type of fruit. Um, it's like somewhere between an apple and a pear, super popular in the UK. I thought it was called quince. So here we are. It's so it's the, the remains of the agave after um, tequila is made with the quince fruit, so it's supposed to be kind of sweet, like a little bit of a dessert tequila. Ooh, it smells really sweet. Ooh, ooh that's delicious. It's like, it doesn't taste like tequila very much, but it's really good. <laughs> that's really good. I like it. I hope you guys enjoyed that tequila tasting with us. Obviously that was only a part of what we learned. It's over an hour long to sample the tequilas and learn about uh, the history of the Cuervo family and, and the history of tequila and how it's made and stuff. It was so much fun. Um, they have two different tastings. One's $45, which is the sort of normal tequilas. Um, and then they do one for $90, which is all artisanal, um, quite top shelf tequilas. So yeah a few to choose from including all the the foods that pair with them so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up it really supports my channel and i will see you next time bye